It is astonishing to me that there are all of two football Friday nights left in the regular season. Unbelievable how fast this football season has gone. But what storylines we've had throughout our high school landscape in both Big Ben and South Georgia. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of shakeups in our Super 6. Yeah, and nowhere reflects that more than our Super 6. However, not a whole lot of drama in Florida this mm -hmm. week. So you know what? We won't even bother with the reveal. We'll just get straight to the big board and we'll show you exactly what happened this week. No change at all. Swanee, Sneed, St. John Paul II, Wakulla, North Florida Christian, and Florida High are your Super Six. Uh, number six and number three, J.D. Jones Stadium, Friday night, Swanee and Wakulla are game of the week. Swanee is playing the best defense maybe of anybody not named Valdosta in our area. In this four game winning streak the Bulldogs have had, they've only allowed 14 total points. That's very impressive and save for that first game of the year for them, they only have allowed, they haven't allowed more than 13 points in a football game, which is very, very impressive. Sneed's big winners this last week and JP2 as well. We kept Wakulla where they were even with the loss to NFC because NFC is just a powerhouse offensively. And with Wakulla's starting quarterback going down to even put up 35 points in that game. Very, very impressive. And obviously, Florida High taking care of business. Yeah, lots of good stuff there. Excited to see how Swanee goes with a big step up in competition yes. against the War Eagles. South Georgia, we'll reveal them to you really quick because we wanted to talk about them a good bit. Number six, the Cook Hornets stay in our list but fall to six, which means that Brooks is out, Lowndes is at five, the Cairo Syrup Makers make their Super Six debut at number four, Valdosta at three after losing at Camden, number two, Thomas County Central, which means that Colquitt remains number one. All right, even now we're not entirely sure we got this right <laughs> because we debated this for a long, long time. Yes. And there's a couple teams on the outside looking in, Clinch, Early, even Brooks, Brooks after the loss just dropped last out. week, yeah. yeah, even after the loss to Irwin, anybody has a case here. We thought, did we put Cairo too high, even though they're playing really good ball? Do you even punish Valdosta for losing a game after they've been so good on defense? So, listen, if if you're upset with this list, we're not thrilled about it either. <laughs> but we didn't feel like there was a good answer at all. Listen, Early and Clinch, both of you deserve recognition. So we're gonna, you're our first two out. How about that? We're Joe Leonardo here with our Bracketology. But Cook has that head-to-head -head win over Brooks County. Brooks County, of course, losing to Irwin this past Friday. Don't punish them too much. They're on the outside looking in. It was just a head-to-head. -head. It seems like Cook has had that head-to-head -head over Brooks, and we've mentioned it almost every week, right? Because Brooks has been playing so well, but a tough loss there. Lowndes, man, what a schedule they've had. And I guess we keep them in. It's tough to kick them out just by virtue of who they've played. Yeah. Cairo's on a heater right now. They have a chance to win that region with a huge game end of the regular season against Bainbridge. So love what the syrup makers are potential doing. Potential game of the week next week. I don't really know about potential. I think, I think it should be. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's my vote right there. And we love the uh, syrup makers skin section as well. Uh, Valdosta, first loss of the year, 17-14. They had a chance to tie that game at the end. Blocked field goal. Valdosta Wildcats are still really good. Thomas County Central with arguably the win of their season against Houston County, a 42-21 drubbing. Huge game this upcoming week against Lee. And what else can you say about Colquitt? They're really, really good. Yeah, I mean, what else do you have to say except between those top three teams, mm. number one's up for grabs between every last one of them. Man. Football Friday night. How fun is it watching TCC do their thing, Colquitt every week, Valdosta, I think they'll bounce back. I mean, well, they have Colquitt, so who knows? That could be one of the best games we have. We legitimately, you know, we put up three games of the week every week. We want to give everybody a fair shot and a fair shake. But I think most people in the back of their minds think maybe two of these are better than one. Or yeah. This week, we legitimately probably had two games that we left out. Yes. I mean, NFC Monroe is a game of the week caliber game. Wakulla Swanee is a game of the week caliber game. Valdosta and Cockwit is, of course, a oh, game of the yeah. week caliber game. TCC Lee. I was going to say, and even beyond that, in this schedule, it is stacked loaded uh, this will be one of the best football Friday nights of the year just like last week was I mean the competition is so fierce and so much at stake at this point of the season too that's what makes it so fun and our teams man they're doing well it's fun to cover absolutely it was a great super six it's gonna be a better football Friday night